Hey guys, welcome to Fear and Wine. We're starting a new LP with The Walking Dead Destinies. Now you might be asking, why the hell are you playing this? Well, it's kind of like when I did Terminator Resistance. It was on How Bad Can It Be? So, I'm kind of intrigued by the fact that we can change the entire story of Walking Dead and change its destinies. <laughs> anyway, we're going to check this out. I, we've already checked it out, so feel free to check out that episode. How bad can it be? I'll leave it up here in the top right corner. Anyway, let's begin. That's fine. Uh, oh, sorry. Apply. Film grain. Default. Yeah. Eh, yeah, let's go easy. I'm not trying to be frustrated with this piece of shit. But yeah, like I said, I'm just intrigued by the fact that we can, you know, change the destiny. Like, we can make the governor a good guy instead of a bad guy. You could side with Shane instead of Rick. That kind of shit. Harrison Memorial Hospital, King County, Georgia. Act 1. Welcome to the apocalypse. Episode 1. Days Gone By. All right, looks great on the PS5. <laughs> Watch, I'm gonna get really Nurse. pissed off with this game at some point. Somebody help me! Help me! Need to push this gurney away from the door. Away from the door. All right, let go of it, you fuck. Okay, Marty, mad. <laughs> What's going on in there? Get to the nurse's office. Where is everybody? Yeah, let's. Let's not forget that this would be brutal to wake up like this. I'd fucking die in this hospital. I don't even think I'd make it down that dark stairwell on the TV show. I'd be like, yep, yeah, well, we had a good run. <laughs> what the hell happened here? What the hell? Let's cut to this office right here. I Go. need to find some meds. <laughs> Concentrate. Oh, instincts. Oh. Okay. Finders keepers. The game crash. Oh. Okay. I thought it crashed. I was like, Jesus, already. All right. Don't dead open inside. Oh. Oh my god. It's a spitting image. That is Rick Grimes incarnate. I gotta get out of here. Oh yeah. It should fit if I crouch. Okay. L R left stick is to crouch. <laughs> I need to stay low. Move slowly so they don't notice me. How does he know that? Oh, okay. Shows her. What else does that? Oh, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. This is a lot like Horizon Zero Dawn. In gameplay, graphics. All that shit. This is gripping. I think I can't see my legs. Well, I guess. My God, hurry up, zombie. I don't make any noise when I'm crouched. Yeah, I know. I almost want to just sprint out of here. <laughs> He's coming back. Come on, boy. Oh, 
takes them longer to spot me if I'm crouched. Yeah, I know, man. Jesus. He's just really hammering at home. Stay low here so they don't see me. Oh. Oop, 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 oop. Oh. They're stupid, too. Enemies can't see when you're crouched inside smoke. <laughs> just sitting smoke. Oh, you didn't know? Okay, so he's just a straight lion zombie. He's a man of simple principles. Dad zombie. Man, woman. Who can tell the difference anymore, huh? Alright, we got an exit here. Oh. Roll your way. How do I how do I roll? Uh, is it just running? How do I roll? Did it tell me? How do I roll? Oh my god. Did it? It must have showed me and I just didn't see it. Oh my god. Wait, oh. Options, controls, roll, roll, roll. Dodge roll, okay. It says dodge roll. Oh. <laughs> dodge roll is circle, but it's not doing it. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh. Clap. Okay, I understand now. Fuck this. I roll when I'm crouched. Ah, oh. Wait from me. Bye, fellas. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. Sheriff Deputy Rick Grimes was shot in the line of duty. His childhood friend and partner Shane Walsh was at his side. As Shane desperately called for help, Rick slipped into a coma. Rick awoke in the hospital to find the world forever changed and ruled by the dead. He returns to his neighborhood desperately searching for his wife, Lori, and son, Coral. All right. I don't think he'll ever live down how he says Carl. Coral. <laughs> you can unlock new skills and upgrade them at any time. Unlock new skills at any time through the skills menu. Later that day, Rick's Neighborhood. Episode 2. Listen up. Listen. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember. This made no sense. So why is he waving at zombies when he's already snuck past like 50 of them? He knows what a zombie is now. Hey you, what's that bandage for? Did you get bit? Yeah, it's not too bad. Bit? No, I got shot. Shot? You even know what's going on? I'm a cop. I woke up today in the hospital. That's all I know. First you need proper clothes. There's a sheriff's cruiser just up the road. Might have something that'd fit you. Then you need to know about the walkers. The one I just shot, 
Peter ripped into you. Tried to eat you. Mm. If this is the first you're hearing it, you need to listen up. You need to listen up? Now listen up. Alright, search the police vehicle. There are a few walkers on the street after the barricade. But let's get you some clothes before we deal with them. Oh, his mouth ain't moving. Recenter, okay. Hey. Got it. Hell yeah, we're a sheriff again. Go to Morgan's house. Instincts. Rick, stay on this channel so we can talk. I'm watching from the roof. Copy. After that, I need to go find my family. All right. What is, it, what is this for? Is that because it's where I have to go? I guess it's just a stab nearby zombies with your fucking knife. The best way to take these things down is nice and quiet. Stab them in the head. Got All it. Right. But stabbing Got takes it. a lot out of you. Be careful, else you run out of stamina when you need it most. Ah, I see. Get the weapon. Oh. All right, baseball bat. Now try using a bat to smash him in the head. Grab the one near you. Good. Use the bat to knock him back. When they're stunned, that's when you're going for the kill. <laughs> All right, easy enough. Let me go. Get off of me. Oh shit. Alright, he's down. Alright. Is my stamina all the way up? I guess it is. Hear that? Your adrenaline goes up every time you hit or kill one of those walkers. Oh. Ah. And now we need then to use. Release it all at once to execute a walker. Yeah! How do you like that? Ooh! Nice. <laughs> Easier than stabbing, right? Yes. That'll restore some health back too. All right, let's go this way. Hit me. Go. Sure. Don't feel sorry for them. They're already dead. Oh, I don't feel that sorry. That one's a crawler. Give it a strong stomp. Dead, bitch. All, All right. right. Look, there's a police cruiser at the end of the street. Should still have some gas in the tank. I don't need it. But we gotta clear this area first. There are too many walkers here. Adrenaline is pumping. Yeah. Let me go. Get off me, you fuck! Looks like you can have your good man, Rick. I hope you find your family. <laughs> you're a good man, Rick. I don't know anything about you, but I guess you're good because he kills zombies. Broadcasting on emergency channel. We'll be approaching Atlanta on Highway 85. If anyone can read me, please respond. Hello? I read you. Where are you? Outside of Atlanta. Hello? Help Hurry! Hello? Please respond. You're breaking up. Please respond. Damn it. They can't hear me. Rick and Morgan part ways, vowing to keep in touch via radio. Morgan tells Rick he heard rumors about a military camp in Atlanta that was providing shelter to survivors. Rick sets off towards Atlanta. However, upon reaching the city, he finds it overrun by the dead. 
All that's left to do is continue searching for his family and keep hope alive. Now, it sounds stupid, but I'm actually extremely excited to play this game. Don't ask me why. I don't have answers. Episode 3. Guts. Alright. Lori. Carl. Approach using stealth, comet, Lori. or both. It's up to you. Talk to me. Um, I guess, yeah, I'll probably do both. Just mix it up a little I'll bit. I'll take that, thanks. I'll take that, you fuck. Okay, let's go this way. Alright, so when there's these bloody handprints, that means that we can uh, go that way. This will distract him. Yeah, there you go. Shush now. Shush. Shush, crazy lady. Now. Easy one, you know how. Oh. Oh, oh. Just now. Oh. 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 Ho, ho, ho. So that's just a twisty turny zombie right there. He just flips back and forth, back and forth. Can I go this way? Great. Let's see if we can get to him by the time he. Oh. This zombie don't even know what he's doing. I don't know how he doesn't see me right now. But I'll. Oh, I'll take it. Oh, that is so cheap. Well, it's boiling. Come on. Come on, boy. There you go. Dead end. Maybe I get out through that bus. I don't need a heavy attack. Um, I keep pressing R2 to duck. And it's not that. Right through the skull. Oh shit. Find a way to move forward. Fuck me. That's a lot of them. I don't know if I want to take my chances in that one. Let's see if there's a way around. There is not. Shit. Better be careful now. Blood's boiling. Get out of here. Oh no. Oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Gotta find Lori. Me. Go. Excuse me, excuse me. Damn it. Can't go that way. Too many of them. Alright, we're just gonna have to take them out like this. Alright, and. Oh. There we go. I think I had to push it, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, jump there. Oof, okay, that's quite a few of them. Ah, shit! Get off of me! Get off me, sucker! Get that tank! Me. There we go. Luckily, I've seen the show, so I knew where you needed to hey, go. You. Dumbass. Yeah, you in the tank. Is that you, Glenn? I miss Don't you. In there? Who is this? Where are you? Can you see me? Name's Glenn. There's no time for answers right now. Wait for my signal. Okay. Oh, sweet. Oh, man, that guy's screwed. Bet if I get to Main Street, I can help him. Don't mind if I do. Sneak around those walkers. Piece of cake. Even though I was almost immediately busted. Except for the one that I needed to be distracted. Don't mind if I do. This will distract him. Fuck it, let's go. He's trapped. Oh, you dumbass. Get off me. Get off. Get away from me. Oh. Don't die, Glenn. You're only in season one. <laughs> oh, skill points. All right. Nice mind. Walkers are gathering on the left. I can start there. Draw their attention. Oh, sweet. Got it. I need to take the edge off. Uh. Got it. You shouldn't be screaming all that out. This will distract them. Except for the one I need. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Please. Need to get the. Uh, uh, oh, get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Sweet. That worked out beautifully. Looks just like Glenn as well. Hurry up! I'm we're on the roof of the building with the yellow stairs. Just follow the alley. <clears throat> Mind if I do. Flashbacks. I'll take that, thanks. Guess I'm headed to the rooftop. Shit. I'm glad I grabbed that second one. That Glenn. Nice to know there's still decent people in the world. Oh, that was perfect. That was Dixon, perfect. Are you crazy? Hey! Oh, why shit. Are you more polite to a man with a gun, huh? Only common sense. And you're wasting bullets we ain't even got. And you'll bring walkers down on our ass, man. Just chill. You think I'm going to start taking orders from you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, bro. That'll be the day. That'll be the day? What, you, you got something you want to tell me? I'll tell you the day. That'll be the day I take orders from a... <laughs> oh, shit. I pull this trigger. It'll be the best use of ammo all day. Come on. Anyone gonna do something? Officer Friendly's coming out here. Defuse. Merle's dangerous, but we might need him. Okay, so we're gonna go the opposite. We're not gonna handcuff Merle. So...
There you go. That's enough. From both of you. Get up off of it. Who the hell are you, man? Officer Friendly. You kidding me, man? Look here. Whatever your differences were, things have changed. There's only white meat and dark meat. There's us and the dead. We survived this by pulling together, not apart. Yeah, mighty fine speech coming from a filthy pig. All I am anymore is a man looking for his wife and son. Anybody gets in the way of that is gonna lose. Are you standing up or am I dropping you? <laughs> All right, officer friendly. Take us to the promised land. What the hell, man? You just gonna let him get away with this shit? Just calm down. We'll work this out. Let's just go and... I ain't going nowhere with that crap! Now listen. Just give him a minute to cool down, Rick. <clears throat> Better catch up with those fools. Oh shit. What the fuck, man? Well, looks like Officer Friendly needs to keep better track of his equipment. Wait, what do you think's gonna happen when you show up without me? It's a dangerous world out there, Mr. Yo. People go missing all the time. A few days, no one's even gonna remember your name. Look, they'll know it was you. They're not gonna believe whatever bullshit story you come up with. Officer Friendly seems to be of the mind to give people the benefit of the doubt. So I guess we'll see, won't we? Well, I will. You sure ain't going anywhere. Hey, stop! If I get loose, you better pray. You hear me? You ran that piece of shit! You hear me? You better kill me! All right. When the outbreak occurred with Rick in a coma, Shane looked after Rick's wife. He sure did. And son as if they were his own. Believing Rick to be dead, Lori and Shane developed feelings for each other and began a romantic relationship. Together they joined a group of survivors camping just outside of Atlanta. Unlock new skills at any time. Oh, okay, yeah, I probably should. Well, I think I only picked up three skill points, but fuck it. But fuck it. Not too far from there. Episode four. Don't stay out too long. Worth living. Oh, 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 oh. I'll be back before you know it. Shane, Shane. Shane, 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 you know your name. All right, guys, well, that's going to be the end of part one of our Let's Play of Walking Dead Destinies. We'll be back with part two very soon. Hope you guys are enjoying this filthy Let's Play. Until next time, peace.